Hi, Theater Mania. This is Ramin Karamlu, and this is my story of theater gone wrong. Okay, should please tell everyone what happened um, the other night with Cosette. That was awful. It's literally the actor's nightmare. It was the only time this has ever happened in my life. Um, I bet I missed the whole scene. <laughs> Full gas. Wasn't late. Wasn't late. The scene just did not happen. And it was when I was supposed to come in with, Dear Cosette, you're such a lonely child. So I'm in my room and I'm thinking, that's an instrumental. <laughs> you know, when you, you, you never listen to the show unless something goes wrong, mm -hmm. once it's in your system. And then I'm like, I'm listening to the show. There's something wrong. And then I hear a little <laughs> door open, stage management. I mean, sh should you be on? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then she's like, well, and I'm thinking, why are you calm? Why wasn't it like, open the, get on stage? Pat, pat, pat. So then I thought, well, I I've got time now because I'm not going to rush on halfway through a sentence. So I'm like, when's the next available opportunity? <laughs> So I just, man, I thought, I'll go on right before because that's supposed to sing again. Like, there's so little I know. So I looked at her and I thought, what am I going to do? I went, do you want to come sign? <laughs> come for dinner? And then she went into her scene. And Wait, I so just she went, was on stage the whole time? The whole time. So what the whole time you were supposed to be singing to her, she was on stage. <laughs> little, uh, you know, silent monologue. Okay, so for funsies, I actually, seriously, before the show, I had my friend Joey Monda mail me the whole score. I'm going to play the entire sequence that Ramin was on on stage. And then I thought for his karma, for your karma, I want you to have to do the face acting that Cosette oh, had to do to mate. fill oh, all God. of that music. So here we go. This is I, I literally photocopied this. OK, so the last thing she sings is, um, uh, um, I'm no longer alone now. Uh, she, she sings, I'm no longer alone now. My life, my life is so near. Find me now. Find me here. Then he's supposed to enter, and the audience heard this. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> Entrance. There's so little I know. Bye bye. <laughs> How does it feel? I I will forever be sorry to Sam Hill for that. Just want to clear that. But you were in your that wasn't what was it maybe twenty seconds total? That entire solo? Yeah. No, I would say that was like a solid forty. Okay. Felt like an hour. You know, I'm sure it did, but I just. How long does it take you to, from your dressing room to the stage? Luckily, my dressing room is right there. Yeah, no, but he didn't, want to, he didn't want to enter in the middle of his and then just stand there. So he's like, he didn't want to come yeah. in the middle of this. So he's just like, let me just, she's an amazing but actress. But all in the even eyes, the Norma Desmond. But the conversation and the stage manager, all of it, like. But what was extraordinary was there was no panic. So then I just thought, I have it all this time. So I'm just walking to the stage. And I'm, I know I'm supposed to be on stage, but I'm like, this I'm just going to have so to wait. Calm. I'm behind the door waiting. And as I came on, I was like, my eyes, I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can we practice your lift? Yeah? Okay, just in case. Marius. <coughs> Two. I, I will save you. That was okay. the screen. Okay. Two sewers. Okay. Okay, so then I gotta turn you around. So there's this one. Right? I, yep. I wear you like a scarf. Yep. And then like the baby, like a baby. Oh my god, mate. Jesus. What are you doing that for? I'm trying Sit to be down. dead. Who does that? Sit I'm trying down. to be dead. Get up! I'm good for having Put your head on my shoulder. There you go. Is this what he does? Cuddle me with the other arm, too. Is this what he does? There you go. That's nice. Look in the camera. Do not forget this. Do not ever do that first one. My butt is like showing. I'm, this Chris is McCarroll. like rehearsal and vlogging all at once. Let's take it to the end. If you touch me, you will understand what happiness is. Look. Look, a new day. 
here's one from Hannah. How's your plant? Ooh, it's flourishing. What is it? Does it grow something? Oh, those are that's a little Easter something, huh? Call it Robin. I, I still don't know if I'm over if I'm killing it by not watering it enough or overwatering. Oh, oh. That's fine. That's fine. We may never know. Now this week has been very exciting, as many of you all know, through social media and whatnot. And the burning question on everyone's mind is my plant. And here's the problem. I do not have a green finger. And <laughs> as you've seen before... It's green thumb. From vlog... What did I say? Green, green finger? Green finger. <laughs> what is it called? Green, green thumb? thumb? They knew. They, they know. <laughs> um, <laughs> as you can maybe remember from vlog one, she was a lot more red and had a lot more flowers in it. As you can see, that is not the case right now. But here's the problem. I need some advice. Now, Elise, you, you said it's not dry. It seems properly watered, yes. But this is the problem. If you usually overfeed something, the effects over time is maybe obesity, or if you don't feed it enough, it loses weight or it gets dehydrated. If I do either to this, both results in death. Perhaps it's just losing its blooms and they will come back again. That's as, that's as, as interesting as today gets. Medium stature, broad shoulders, prime of his life. Uh -huh. I was not in prime of my life. Yeah, but back then, prime of the life meant like you had both legs. <laughs> No one had a good body back then. <laughs> He's got a full set of teeth. He must be yeah, strong. Exactly. Healthy as a horse. <laughs> Listen, it's artistic interpretation. You know, you play yours, Valjean, I'll play mine. Uh huh. When do you start in Phantom? Uh, Monday. This will well, the, by the time it's come out, you would have started. Oh, I started. So, how was your first show? <laughs> that's just. <laughs> that's your first show by, uh, Christine Dye. It's good. Yeah? Just the usual, doing? you know. Was it a big reception last night? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was, how's it feel to be back? This is your third go we at it? We're not doing... We're doing this. No. Use this, folks. We're not pretending... Yes, come by, on! When this was recorded, I had not been on yet. You have. Did you have a good time performing back as Christine last night? Absolutely. You were amazing. Thank you. It was a wonderful. I was great. I was so happy to be there. Were you? Yeah. You cannot keep putting this on We right can now. do it. Do Broadway not com, put this on. Broadway.com, make sure you put this on. Broadway.com, do not put this on. Put it on. <laughs> Wonderful show last night. Darling, it's good to have you back in the role. You're born to play. Give me a break. <laughs> They talked at all about uh, what will happen if you don't win. It's a good one. <laughs> no, I mean I'm just I'm just saying there's a there's like a lot of competition for you this year. Yeah, but let's be serious. Jean Valjean. Well, yeah, no, I know. I'm just saying I, there's like other there's other people in your category, such as. I mean, there's there's Andy Carl. Rocky. Yeah, he's very good. I saw it. He's very good. Yeah, he's good. Well, he's buffed up. Yeah. Very endearing as a part. Sure. Sings and boxes. Who does that? Andy Carl. All right. There's also. Okay, so there's Andy Carl, but my chances are still good. Sure. If it's Andy Carl, I can understand. Great. So it's between there's, the two of us. That's fine. Uh, there's Bryce Pinkham. Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. Yeah. Ten nominations for that show. He was very. Uh, he's got craft. Yeah. The way he narrated and sung like an yeah. angel. Yeah. Great Damn actor. Technician. Yeah, I'd say he's a technician with too. Heart. With heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bryce, I can understand. Okay, so that's three of us. The odds are still very good. Well, you know, Jean Valjean, still. Jefferson Mays. Gee. Now listen, that's not fair. Why is that? He had like eight chances for this part. Mm. He plays eight characters. Sure. All definitive, like they're all very thought out, and his right. energy, how he get those costume changes, and still like... Okay, he's, he's, he's good. a genius actor. Right. All right. Well, that's still twenty-five percent chance of winning. And I'm still Jean Valjean. So yeah. That's good. Yeah. What do you think? Never mind. Then there's there's NPH. Who's that? 
Neil, Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, he's been nominated? He's been nominated. Has he? Yeah. For f he's been nominated. He's genius. Mm. He's very funny at all he does. Beloved. He's Beloved. a great actor. Sure. Great singer. Can dance. Universally just loved by, by the people. I'm a fan. Yeah. Who's not? He's great. He is great. He's great. Okay, so... When Will and I were at the Tonys, he was the host that year. Remember Will? Yep. He hosted the Tonys. A few times. Okay. So you got Andy Carl, yep. who's like <clears throat> a saint and yep. brilliant. Sure. Bryce. Yep. Very endearing. Yep. Great actor. Yeah, charming. Charming, yes. Yep. Jefferson Mays. Sure. Genius actor. Incredible, versatile. Neil Patrick Harris, like Ooh, very talented. Midas Touch. Very talented. Very good. Beloved by the community. So and you're new. You've got that, you're new. I'm not gonna win the f***ing Tony, am I? New. No. I'm going. Where are you going, man? I'm gonna go sing with the Once cast again. Alright. My first thing is, I saw you the Phantom, Man the Phantom Anniversary sounded amazing. Please tell me any interesting onstage mishaps that happened during the show. Did your mask ever fall off? Dance belt? Go. Uh, well, not in the 25th anniversary, but I remember in the production when I was doing my run, it's the dry ice in the summertime, so it's a lot more humid. And uh, Gina Beck takes off my mask and says, damn you, you know, I can't remember the words. You evil woman, scene? how dare That's you? It. I run to the poor colors. Is this what you wanted to see? Curse you, I go, slip, feet go higher than my head. She <laughs> continues to run. Doesn't, I don't miss a beat in the lyrics, so curse you. You little, what's the word? You, you um, Delilah? Little Lion Pandora. Pandora. Something like that. But it was down, beat. Wait, it was up. curse you, began gunk. And then I said a line from down there, up on the next beat, straight to her, pretending like it never happened. I just wanted the stage to swallow me up at that point, because I'm supposed to be this <laughs> intimidating so scary. Man, and all you see is my legs dangling. <laughs> but she didn't help you up, did she? Because that'd be hilarious. Like, well, she oh. took off. She, all she, knew, all she <laughs> thought, he's coming after me. She goes, she looks back and thinks, where's he gone? Vlogs, I don't think, have been too stagey I guess and they're not very musical theater I understand that but you know I spent half an afternoon with James Brown the third and Sierra Vargas and this is what it's come to through folks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, maybe we we'll, we'll be all right. We're fine. <laughs> so I'm spending my day off with Sarah. I'm spending my day off with Ramen Karimlu, I think is how you say it. I yeah, think. Yeah, close enough. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to go see of mice of mice and men tonight. Yep. I'm out. Sharing is caring. You can't catch it twice. <laughs> um. Fences, abandon their defenses. Towards my crusade, here she go. Get us both back. Set. Thank you. I'm not gonna do the whole thing though, it's such a long song. Right. I just left Armin's dressing room. I took a Starbucks cup thinking it was mine. Turns First out, all, did you drink it? Yeah, I took a little sip. Mate, sorry. I've written <laughs> on his, oh on his what, skinny venti latte. Vanilla latte. Vanilla Thank latte. You. Classy. Venti size. <laughs> okay, but listen now. Explain why at Starbucks when they say, and what's your name for the order? Listen. You say, uh, Tony. First of all, since I moved here, that's the name I've always given. I swear to God, because I give Ramin, there's a whole thing going on. Oh, how do you spell it? Ramin? Uh, no. So I go with Tony. Even Tony has come back as Sunny sometimes. <laughs> so imagine I give him Ramin. Right. So that's why. And then I got this lamination. I feel like I should change it because I feel You feel like silly. what if the barista knew who you were? Which has happened. Sure. Pretty but then, famous. But that's my Starbucks name. I'm not going to change it. Hey, Ramin. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, how are you feeling today? Good. A bit of a... Uh, 
allergies. I think with hay fever and stuff, it's the first time I've felt it since I've been in North America. Well, let's do a little <laughs> uh, warm up, yeah, a little technical warm up. Let's just show us what you do. You know what? I, just go I, ahead and show I, us what I you stretch. do. You stretch a little bit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Makes me feel young. Uh huh. <clears throat> uh, kind of played on the guitar earlier. Uh huh. I just check my voice, but I check it in here. Excuse All right. I gotta get ready now. So. Oh, uh, so that was it. All right. Uh, yeah, good, good warm up. Um... Okay, so Andrew Culper is about to come to my room. <laughs> I've got this new mask. Let's see if he likes it. This couldn't have waited 15 minutes. <laughs> I mean, this couldn't have waited 15 minutes. <laughs> what I is thought this? you would have screamed. No. That's what this was for, to try to frighten me? <laughs> yes. This is the dumbest moment of my life. <laughs> I'd like it on the record that my dressing room was on the fifth floor of this building. I was up in it, preparing for the show, and Ramin <laughs> said, Ramin says, okay, hey, come down to my room. I say, I'll come down in 15 minutes on my way to, to <gasps> get to the stage. He said, no, you've got to come now. You won't regret it. You won't regret it, he says. This is what's waiting for me. It's not even... It's... Where did this come from? You bought this for this? I ordered Idiot. it from the UK. Oh I waited for weeks. <laughs> You're such an idiot. Oh, we're going to go what's see who name? we can scare. Uh, I don't know. Cedric. I was going to say Bert. Cedric. Great, Cedric it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See his face? Oh my god! Hey man! <laughs> rude! Who is that? Look You're rude! Is Give that? us a kiss! That is the foulest thing. Give yeah. us a kiss, man! You need lipstick, it's like flesh colored lips. Oh. You're that not... is so foul. What's the matter with you, mate? Give us a cuddle. What's this voice now? I, only... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go and say, will you meet my friend real quick? He's going to come see the show tonight. Yeah, all right, hold this. I got somebody for you to meet. Hey, you want to see the show? He's a big fan. He's a big fan of you. Hey, man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Freaked me out. I thought it was you, Panero, for a sec. <laughs> <laughs> with the mascot. Uh -huh. How's it going, man? <laughs> Isn't it upsetting? I'm trying to get ready for a show. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh god. Sorry, sir. We're sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> it's really <laughs> awful. It's really freaky. Yeah, I know. No, this is brilliant. <laughs> the end of a two show day. Go to Lyle Jones, puts my stuff out. But we gotta keep quiet because as you know, these shows can get very tiring. And Cedric has had enough.